Oh, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. I am currently sitting on the bus, working on getting the heater uh, up and running. And it just takes a bit for it to get hot, so it's actually putting out some heat. And then my plan is to go back and work on uh, some wiring, get some breakers installed. Because uh, really what I want, I mean, there's a lot I want to do, but I'd like to get the... Um, breaker box installed, the power cord adapter, I'm going to have a screw type adapter on the outside of the bus and get the cord so I can run that and plug it in instead of having an extension cord and then that powers all my outlets in the bus and I'll be able to just run stuff as I need uh, through you know using that system instead of running cords everywhere. So that's kind of what I want to do. I mean it won't be done today because I don't have all the parts. I got to order a couple things um, but that's what we're going to be working on. Slowly heating up. Eventually that whole thing will be red and it'll be glowing in the glass here right here too. A nice red, reddish blue. And then we'll be a little bit warmer. Well, it's not fully up to speed, but it's throwing on a decent amount of heat. It's hard to tell, but the it's starting to get red in the glass area as well. So we're going to go ahead and just let this warm up and I'm going to head to the back and try and do some some wiring uh, I'm not gonna not gonna show this whole process is again this is entertainment only I don't want um, anybody to think that I'm teaching you anything here because I'm not an electrician so seek a professional if you're gonna do any of this stuff um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna be putting breakers in and running my hot wire they go up into the screw right here um, and I'm gonna do that systematically so I, I'm also gonna label them so I know where everything is but out right now, I only got to really put two in, left and right side of the bus. I do have the AC here. I could uh, wire in, just leave the switch off, which I probably will do, just so it's all nice and neat in here, as neat as it can. And I really wish I left a little more wire for this one. I do got to strip off more of this, but right now I got the label on the back side of it of where it goes, so I won't do that yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get these in. I got to get all these wires cut down the size, neatly put in there. And then I'll show you, but that's really all there is to it. And then to take these out, they just pop out like that. So it's got a little clip on the back that sits onto this thing here. And then it pushes onto the po uh, the power here. Now, keep in mind, I have no power going to this. So don't freak out and don't be touching stuff inside these boxes if you're working on them. There's absolutely no power to this box. There's no wires going to it from any power source. This is just internally in the bus. So you do not want to be reaching into this thing and just touching stuff willy-nilly. Uh, so anyways, but when you do put them in, they just lock in there like that, and then they push up and they're locked in. And if this is, uh, you know, towards the back, towards the um, outside of the breaker, usually these things are up and down the other way. But if it's the other way, then it's off. If it's towards the terminal in the middle, then it's turned on. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and strip some of these wires back, get a couple of these installed, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, a couple things I'll point out. When you strip your wire, you don't want to strip any more than you need. So you don't want any of the copper wire showing. So I wouldn't want like the, the black to be stripped off way back here. So that's all showing as little as possible. Enough so it's underneath the end, plenty, making plenty of contact. But you just don't want uh, anything showing that you don't have to. It's less chance of something else uh, touching that. And just to reiterate, you know, don't do this at home yourself and there's several reasons to it this seems you know pretty simple what i'm doing which it is but there's a lot more things you have to factor in uh, for example these are 20 amp 20 amp breakers do i have the right wire i mean i know i do but do you uh did you buy the right outlets in your bus because if you have 15 amp outlets and a 20 amp breaker that outlet's going to fail before the breaker it could potentially cause a fire so you've got to make sure you have the right things before you do this so again i can't stress enough this video is just for entertainment as you watch me build my bus seek a professional um that's my recommendation uh, but i got two of these in so far you know i'm gonna try to you know you try to make sure your wires are nice and neat and tucked out of the way nothing you know going astray and preferably keep them away from the ground if you can but um this ain't the best setup because I just didn't leave enough wire for that other one. kind of bums me out. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing so far. I'm going to go ahead and get another one put in. Not super cold out here, but I did come back up here just to check on it. So I'm working all the way down the back there. 
Now it's warming up the bus nicely, but you can definitely see now how much you know more it's glowing uh, orange. So it's really reflecting some heat out. All right, back to work. All right, so you see at the box and over here, uh, I'm gonna put the cover on temporarily just so it's out of the way. And I gotta take out the um, plates that are in here so that these breakers show through. So I got the first one out. So I'm gonna take the second one out and then the fourth and fifth one out and leave the two center ones in place. Uh, I don't think I'll be using those at the moment, um, but uh, let me just show you how to take these things out and then I'll show you where we're at. So uh, the first one, you gotta kind of just knock it. You hit it with like something like this and you'll get it to bend down. Then you can get underneath there and grab it and twist it out. Um, but after that, it's pretty easy. Just grab a hold of it like that. Just try to do this. And then just twist it back and forth a couple times like this. And then sometimes you're gonna go back a little bit further with it to get it to break. Or really twist it around and there you go. And I just screwed up. I just took out number three trying to show you. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna move, <laughs> I'm gonna move a breaker over because I don't want a hole there where there's no breaker. All right, well, my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and leave one. So I'll show you how I do one that's on the end here. I can get underneath the other pliers. All right, so yeah, a little bummed that I did that, um, but it's no big deal. I'll just I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, you should be able to still see this again. There's no power here. Let me just get the paper out of the way. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one off and move it over. This is why you also leave yourself some extra wire. So, and then we'll put that one there. So still everything looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and put the cover on like so. And put the screws in. I'm going to have to take those back out anyway, so I didn't put the bottom one all the way. Um, but there you go. Now you can turn your switches on and off. And again, once they're on, they're on. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I still got to run power to this thing. There's no power coming in from a power so source. So I'm still going to do that. And then, of course, uh, it has a spot up here where you can label what is what. So that'll be good. And it's numbered here, one through six. And I got one through six spots up here too. But I won't do that until I'm done. I have them labeled on the wire. So once I've confirmed this is where everything is going to stay, I will then carry those labels up to here so we'll know right away. But right at the moment, this far left one is the left side of the bus. The next one is the right side of the bus as far as outlets. And then now this one is the um, air conditioner which is not hooked up or anything yet. The wire is just hanging from the ceiling here. Let's lift that up a little bit. So we got just a wire going up here. Um, and then this far right one is uh, the refrigerator. So that runs up overhead and then all the way to the other side for the refrigerator. And as far as the water pump, that's down here. But again, that's 12 volt. So that's coming in from here. And this will tie into uh, the 12 volt system. Uh, you know, there'll be an inverter here that comes off, powers the inverter, and goes to 12 volt. And then, you know, this will all neatly be hooked into 12 volt, as well as all of this other 12 volt wiring that I got all over the place here that will take care of all of the USB and um, cigarette lighter type stuff that's all throughout the bus as well. So. Anyways, that's one more step out of the way. We're now going to move on to something else because I don't have any of the stuff for the 12 volt system yet. So um, that will be for another time. But I would be tickled to death to get power hooked up to this and to be able to throw these switches and have my outlets working. So uh, I'm going to order the parts for that and hopefully in the coming weeks that's something I can get done. And of course I won't turn on any of the stuff that's not hooked up and I'll probably end up um, just putting some wire nuts on these and capping them off just for extra safety. So that's where we're at so far. We just sat down for a minute. I'm actually messing around with the plumbing now, um, but I am sitting in front of the 
heat of here was toasty. Um, but I gotta go inside and go through some parts. Because I gotta find a... Um, I need to take this thread and switch it over to PEX piping. And I don't have the part here. Um, I might have it in the, in the house there with all the supplies. Uh, if nothing else, I got to at least get the um, a, a small piece that I can bring with me and send over to the big box stores and get the pieces to switch from this uh, over to the PEX clamp squeeze piping. So I've just been messing around over there um, where my plumbing is and, and with all the parts and seeing what I have and what I don't have so I can go in and see what I can find. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm nice and warm right now sitting in front of the heater here and if I go in I don't like to leave the heater running and I'll end up shutting it off and probably not restarting it. So right now I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the heat. It's not even that cold out either. I mean it's it's damp. It is well it's 38 outside and it's 51 here in the bus but it's been raining for a couple of days now and you see the windows are all wet and um so yeah it's just it's just been raining let me show you what i'm doing back here though so yeah i'm just messing around in this area here i got my pump which is going to mount i'm not sure where i wanted to come off um this right here and it's going to go down into the hopefully you can see that and it's going to go down um, into the pump. The pump flows this way, which is a bummer. I wish it went the other way because then I could tuck this right underneath here out of the way. The water come down out of the tank, in, go up, and out to all of the stuff. But the flow is the other way. I and mean, I suppose I could come over, come down, and go out and go up. Actually, yeah, I could do that. And then the pump can be tucked underneath here out of the way because it can go back in there. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but um, so so yeah, I got to think about that because it'd be nice if that pump was in there out of the way, the water going down to it, up, out, and then up to all of the stuff in the bus. Like one thing will be here for the shower in this area, the other thing will be over for the um the sink itself up there so there's really not a lot to it so you know what i might just do that now that i'm talking about that i might just stick it in here like this let's see here hold on a second in like this the water will come out of here come over what's up with all the traffic oh hold on it's the mail okay that was the uh, mail where was I? Back here. So yeah, I was saying, I think, when I left off, uh, water will come out of the tank here. I'll go across with the pipe, drop down into the inlet side of the pump. The pump will pump it out this side. Then I can come up and then go wherever. I gotta go to a water heater, gotta go to um, a shower, and then I gotta go to uh, the sink. So, yeah, I think that'll actually work. I don't see why I can't do that. There's enough room in here. I got room up underneath here for the pipes to go up in or here. I could go up on the inside this wall and then in through to the sink over there. Basically, a, a cold and hot will go up and to the sink. And then, well, I'm sorry, cold will go up to the sink. And then there'll be a cold to go up to a water heater up here. And the cold will continue up to the shower. Then out of the water heater, one hot will go to the shower and one hot will go to the kitchen sink. It really is about, about that simple for now. Because I have a plan in the future to put in a recycling system for uh, showers. But that's far down the road. Um, it's going to be a little bit different system eventually which will allow us to boondock a lot longer and almost infinite amount of water. Because no, nothing's infinite, but it'd be a lot more amount of water. It's just how you, how you set the system up and how you treat the water that's going back through the system. 
um, it won't be used for drinking or eating or anything like that, just for the shower pur purpose. Um, but well, yeah, that's another whole story. It's complicated. Parts and pieces and fittings. I don't have what I need. It's always the way. So I gotta. I'm gonna have to go in the house and hopefully find what I'm looking for. Let's see. It's no. All right. I'm going to have to pause it, shut my heat down. Oh, and I still got to put this on the outside of the bus, too. This is the water inlet. So that's another whole fresh water setup. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find exactly what I needed in the house. So I came back out here, fired the heater back up. I'm just going to sit here and think about it. And I'm going to have to write down a list of supplies I need in order to put the plumbing in. Basically, I got to switch um, from this. Uh, I'm just getting a message from my brother. I got to switch, uh, go, I don't have the part to go from this threaded over to uh, PEX pipe, basically the connectors for both ends of this. Once I've got that, then I can just go wherever with the PEX pipe till I get to the other end of the other connections and see where I need to go with those. So I'm going to have to put together a list of some stuff that I need and go to the hardware store and they're probably not open. I don't know if the big box stores are considered essential businesses or not. I would think possibly for repairs, um, but I might just wait. I got some other stuff I can do. I'd rather, again, avoid going out anywhere any more than I have to. So I'm gonna sit here in front of the fire here a little bit, probably recline my other chair, relax. Get my notepad and start a list of some stuff I need, and then we'll get back at it. Can't wait till it warms up enough. And Trace will paint all this stuff up here, and we gotta get the walls painted, and the set there. I gotta get that sticker off right there, and that's gonna be painted. I think I'm gonna get the stove in here sooner than later too, because then on my other channel, I do a, a not a lot, but a substantial amount, and I'll be doing more of that of camp food testing camp food like um dehydrated foods and stuff like that so if i have the stove here on the bus i can do some of that cooking right out here on the bus for that other channel and do reviews of different foods um, from different freeze-dried food companies which i've done several of those so it'd be nice just to do it right out here on the bus which is you know going to be our camping slash home anyway so yeah that's where we're at Taking a break.